we know the scene. A room variously furnished, almost always a lectern. A book, always the tall lilies. Arrived on solemn grandeur of great wings, the angelic ambassador hovering or standing whom she acknowledges a guest. We are told of meek obedience, but what of courage? The engendering spirit did not enter her without consent. God waited. She was free to accept or to refuse choice integral to humanness. Aren't there annunciations of one sort or another in most lives? Some unwillingly undertake great destinies and act them with sullen pride uncomprehending. More often, the moments when the roads of storm and light open from darkness within a man or woman are, are turned away from in, in dread, in a wave of weakness in despair and with relief. Ordinary lives continue. God does not smite them, but a gate closes. The pathway been a child who played, who ate, who slept like any other child, but unlike others, she wept only for pity. She laughed for joy, not triumph. and intelligence fused in her. Indivisible, called to a destiny more momentous than anyone has ever known, she did not quail, but asked a simple, how can this be? And then, gravely, courteously, took to heart the angel's message, the astonishing ministry she was invited to, to bear in her womb infinite weight and lightness to carry in hidden, finite inwardness nine months of infinity to contain in slender vase of being the sum of power in narrow flesh of light. Then, to bring to 
to birth. Push out into air, a man child needing like any other milk and love, but who was God? This is the moment that no one speaks of when she still could refuse. Breath unbreathed, spirit suspended, waiting. She did not cry. I cannot, I am not worthy, nor I have not the strength. She did not submit with gritted teeth, raging, coerced. Bravest of all humans. Consent. Consent. Illumined her. Consent. Illumined her. The room filled with its light. The lily glowed in it, and the iridescent wings. Courage, unparalleled consent, opened her utterly. Rejoices in God. 